Recent studies have shown that 90%, 90% of Americans, when they first wake up, the very first thing that they do is they grab their cell phone and jump into a world of emails and texts, social media, news. And there, here's the problem with that. Though the, our phones are an incredible tool and should be used. I use mine as an alarm clock. I also use mine as a source for music first thing in the morning, music without words. But the reason when I wrote them, the morning five, the five simple steps to an extraordinary life, that step number two was don't touch your phone. The reason being is typically 90% of people in America that are waking up and jumping right into the phone. The first thing that they're jumping into is violence, divisions in politics. They're jumping right into mass shootings, racial division. They're jumping right into tragedy and more. You see, regretfully, bad news is shared news. Bad news is captivating news. Bad news is the news that runs the world. Regretfully, the government and the media know and understand this idea of propaganda. This idea that if they can implant the correct seeds into your mind every single day, they can ultimately control the decisions you make and the direction you go for whatever purposes they need that control. With 90% of Americans jumping into these things first thing in the morning, it's simply not surprising that our country, when it comes to the violence levels and the racial division and the political division, it is not surprising whatsoever that it is in the state that it is in today. You see, this cell phone, this cell phone has become one of the most powerful tools in the universe. And as one of the most powerful tools for disseminating information and for connecting people like me and you, a lot of you are watching on your cell phone right now, or you're listening from your cell phone as you're out running, working out, or doing all of these different things. So this tool can also be used as a weapon. It can 100% be used as a weapon. As a matter of fact, studies have shown that our cell phones are set up in a way, a lot of the different apps that are on the cell phones, they're set up in a way to where they cause our brain to release a chemical called dopamine. And see, so your brain naturally releases a chemical called dopamine when it feels rewarded. But some apps are designed in a way to keep you coming back again and again for positive social reinforcements that can trigger the release of dopamine in your brain. Think about that. What that means is that those email notifications that you get on your phone and a lot of you ignore, those email notifications, those phone call notifications, those are all triggering a release of dopamine in your mind. Every one of those text messages that pops off or maybe it's a notification that you get of, an, of a video game that you play. I remember it was like Farmville. You remember playing Farmville? <laughs> I'm an old dude. My little farm bill notifications, my crops are ready to be harvested, right? The crops are ready to be harvested. You can now plant in some new seeds, you got enough money to buy a tractor, what it is, whatever it is, all of these releases, these chemical releases of dopamine are starting to control our minds. Have you ever noticed lately how your memory can get a little squirrely, you're headed in one direction, you're, I'm, I'm, here's where I'm going to go, here's what I need to do, and then all of a sudden you get the notification, next thing you know, you're over on Facebook or on Instagram, you're scrolling, some time has gone by, a few minutes has gone by, and then you think, what was I doing, you forgot, and then you got to regroup and go back, the productivity levels of people in America are going down, as our technology and ability to communicate and connect is increasing, productivity is going down, because we're getting distracted by these deadly weapons slash tools. Now I spend many, many, many hours on my phone. I've created a business 
around it. I spend a lot of hours on my phone. I'm a firm believer that it, when used as a tool, it's one of the best things that's ever happened to us in the history of the world. However, I refuse to jump on first thing in the morning. Because see, what you have to understand about yourself is your input ultimately is going to, is going to equal your output. Whatever it is that you're putting into your mind, especially first thing in the morning, is ultimately what is going to come out the other side. This is an unavoidable truth. This is absolute fact. Whatever goes in must come out. So in your case, to get the desired results and reach the levels of success that you would like to achieve, your attitude is ultimately going to become everything. You see, what a lot of people don't understand is that your attitude actually exerts energy. It exerts an energy. Your body will release a certain energy. You experience this when you're around certain people. You're just like, holy smoke, their energy is electric. I love being around that person. They just, they, they light up a room every time they walk in. Or you've been around those people or maybe have those family members, right? We've got that one family member that is just so negative. Their energy just always brings the room down. They don't even have to say anything. It's just what they emit. Or you've been in situations where someone's maybe been walking towards you. Or you've been in a parking lot by yourself and you get this sense, this feeling that there's something negative. There's something wrong. There's something malicious. You can feel it. You, can, you lock your door all of a sudden. You grab your purse and hug it tight. You can feel it. We all know when there's a threat, the hairs on our arms stand up. This energy that is released by human beings, it can literally be exchanged just like plants do. Science has discovered that these energies, they're real. They exist. My energy exchanges with you. Your energy exchanges with me. It happens right here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. It's why the show continues to pick up popularity. It's why you continue to come back because the energies, the, the good mornings, the saying hi to everybody else, the positive, the motivation, the education, the inspiration, all of these things, you find them attractive. And ultimately, that's what I need you to understand today. So your attitude is going to be everything. The energy that you release out into the world can ultimately determine your success. You see, the more positive your energy is, the more attractive you become. It's a simple fact. Obviously, we're attracted to a person with a smile over a person with a scowl. Obviously, we're going to like someone better that is releasing positive energy than we are negative energy. Nobody wants negativity in their life. Nobody's going around going, yes, please, can something bad happen to me today? We seek positivity. So what ends up happening is if you fill your minds with the proper things, if you plan with purpose, if you start every day with your rise and grind planner before you jump into this, if you start every day in a place of gratitude, thankful for all of the amazing things that have happened in your life. If you start every day in a moment of reflection, thinking about how far you've come from day one, from day one when you weren't great to the place that you are today, when you spend time fueling that positive energy, when you go out into the world, you become more attractive. And when you become more attractive, and please understand, it doesn't matter. I'm not talking just physically. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm just talking about the energy that you release. And when you become more attractive, you will gain more influence. Follow me here. If you start your day with gratitude and goals versus starting your day with Trump rallies, division and violence, you will change your energy. Your input will change your output, which will ultimately make you more attractive. This attractiveness will help to gain you influence. And when you gain influence, it creates opportunity. Positive energy 
more attractive influence opportunity. Are you following me here? These are the keys to success. In order for you to be successful in your career, in order for you to be successful in your relationships, in order for you to lead a highly successful life, the life that you dream of, the the life that you want, that you fight for, that you long for, in order to have that, you have to focus on your energy. The inputs that you put in, you must plan with purpose to become a person of influence, which gives you the opportunities to change your life. Listen, my friends, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I can't, I can't express how valuable the information you are taking in right now is. If you will take this to heart, if you will spend every single day waking up from a place of gratitude, it will change your life forever, forever. Because see, what goes in is what comes out. And also what goes in starts to determine how you see the world. You see, there's these delusions. Some of you, when you look at this picture, you're going to see two faces looking at each other. Some of you actually see vases stand there in the middle. What makes the difference between who sees what? Your perspective. It's all about how you look at things. Here's another image here where some of you are going to see an older lady with a uh, with like a fur coat around her neck. And then there's others of you that see a young woman with a fur coat and a peacock feather on her head. See, your perspective is everything. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. My friends, it is so powerfully important. That first thing in the morning, please stop picking this thing up. Don't get it twisted. I know you got to use your alarm. You can use it for music, music without words. But instead of Diving into your phone first thing in the morning, will you please, please, please dive into something like this? If it's not a rising grind planner, get get something else. But start your day from gratitude and goals, plan it with purpose, and watch how the world change. Because see, you, my friend, are a child of God. The God of the universe, the God who made everything, made you to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Not a zombified version that's responding to all of your notifications. Not a dopamine addicted version that is spending the day responding to notifications and chasing that next big fix. But the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Because see, when you make those powerful decisions, when you start every day with gratitude and goals, when you start from that place, when you start to release that energy, it makes an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. As a matter of fact, this morning, your decision to be here with me has made an impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely stinking love you for it. I do. I absolutely stinking love you.